Evan Moran trying to win over the first time. Bobby Pierce has a daytime victory at East Bay. He's in the Dunbinson Ford Campbell University number 32 car row three. Turbo Tyler Herb nearly got that first career Lucas Oil win. He'll start inside row three. Jonathan Davenport on the outside. He's a two-time winner at the Clay by the Bay row four. EPJ Earl Pearson Jr. He's in the Ronnie Stuckey Black Diamond number one. Billy Moyer Jr. Trying to win here for the first time is Hall of Fame daughter, father Billy Moyer has 27 career wins here at East Bay. Brandon Shepard, a winner here a year ago tonight. He's on the inside of row number five. And Tim Dome, the showstopper out of West Virginia. One career win at East Bay. He'll start 10th here tonight. Row six, Mason Ziegler scored the big win on Saturday night here a few years ago. He's on the inside of row number uh, six, as I mentioned, to start 11th, Dennis Herb Jr., a multi-time winner here at East Bay in car number 28. He's won here six times. In fact, his last Lucas Oil win came here a few years ago. Row seven will be Brian Shirley's in GR Smith's 22 car out of Chatham, Illinois. Jonathan Rowan first started at East Bay in the 56. He's out of Jackson, Tennessee. Row eight, Jeff Matthews, the veteran driver out of Brandon, Florida, and the Capital Race Car entry starts inside row eight. And on the outside of him, the West Virginia veteran, Mike Benedum, former track record holder at Tyler County Speedway. He's in 25B. Row number nine will be Greg Saturday, last year's runner-up in the Rookie of the Year chase out of Indiana, Pennsylvania, the Hall of Famer, one of the all-time great Scott Bloomquist. Three-time Lucas Oil champion, eight-time winner at East Bay, starts 18th here tonight. How about that? Zero was 18, wasn't he? You yes. saw the throwback yes. from, uh, yes, I did. absolutely. Okay, row 10, just thought I'd throw that in for no extra charge tonight. Row 10, Donald McIntosh, first start at East Bay. He's in the Doug Stevens 007 car. He'll start 19, starting 20 with Jesse Stovall, former Lucas Oil. Emma Laurie, champion of the Black Diamond, starting 20 tonight. Row 11, Austin Hubbard, out of Seaford, Delaware. Corey Conley, representing Mountaineer State of West Virginia, row 14. Will come out row 12, whether it be Tim McCready and Hudson O'Neill, they will be the Lucas Oil Provisionals tonight based on last year's points table. And then it'll be Greg Oaks, your fast time provisional of the 22, and your Dirt on Dirt.com Strawberry Dash winner. Walker Arthur down to the starting grid with Dave Argabright. Well, Earl Pearson. Upon your feet, come out of the turn four, ladies and gentlemen, a salute to you, the greatest fans, and all of our racing dirt late model fans. Here they are, your starting lineup for night number one here at East Bay Raceway Park. Chris, nothing like that ground pound thunder, 800, 900 horsepower, 8 to, 8 to 9 thousand RPMs. These cars are turning. It's been a fast racetrack all night long. Who's going to win it tonight, Chris? Boy, awfully, awfully tough to pick against Richards from the front row. It'll be interesting to see if anybody can get by him, if Bronson can potentially get the jump on the start. We will see what happens. A lot of heavy uh, right feet in this field tonight. <laughs> You go now, Bobby Pierce. You know he wants to get that first win for a Dun yep. Benson Ford. Devin Moran loves this track, his favorite track there is in the country. Trying to bring home a win for Ty Torg tonight. Tyler Irving nearly got that first Lucas Oil win. Young Gun out of Texas, of course, the JD Jonathan Davenport. He's the Graybeard out there at 34, isn't he? Right. <laughs> but anyway, I'll go with Bronson. See what right. Bronson can do. Get that first win in the Lucas Oil series. It counts on the all-time records. Absolutely. Won't count at the points chase, but it'll count on the all-time records, and they'll get his picture on the front page of the website and all over the country. Well, then We'd have to call the Al Varnador 24-hour record service to pull them out of here. All right, here we go, fans. Florida's Kyle Bronson, West Virginia's Josh Richards, the defending Lucas Oil champion. This should be fun. They were first and second Saturday night at Golden Isles. Will they do that again, or will Bronson get the win tonight? Here we go, Chris Steppen. Out comes the green, and kind of like we thought, Bronson with the hole shot. Kyle Bronson will be your race leader down the back straight away. He's in the 40 car down the back straight away. Devin Moran going to take a look. Richard's going to slide back to third. He might be fifth as we come to the line. As there goes the 91 of Herb, he'll go by, and Bronson will lead lap one at 40. Bronson in a turn number one, running in second is Devin Moran in the nine car. Down the back straightaway, Richards now on the outside of Herb in a turn number four. Here comes Earl Pearson Jr. on the bottom. Out at turn four for the lead, Moran on the bottom, Chris. 
Kyle Brunson still leads. Devin Moran, Tyler Herb Richards now. He'll go from the cushion down to the bottom of the racetrack, trying to take that third spot back away. Devin Moran with a good drive down the back straight away. You've got a new race leader. Devin Moran into turn number three. He'll slide across the speedway. Will he lead lap number three? He will. Moran in nine. Two leaders in the first three laps. Bronson runs in second. Tyler Herb third. Richards fourth. Pearson runs in fifth. Down the back straightaway. Herb up top of Richards. A pair of rocket chassis drivers going at it door to door. Meanwhile, Devin Moran in the rocket chassis looking for his first win at East Bay. Drifts up almost got on the wall of a turn four. Continues to beat Devin Moran, Kyle Bronson, Josh Richards, one, two, three. Outside of the top three, Tyler Herb now roaring up on the outside. He and Earl Pearson Jr. door to door. Good side by side battle for the fourth and fifth spot. Bobby Pearson, Brandon Shepard now. They're side by side as well. Everybody chasing Devin Moran. Earl Pearson Jr. on the bottom. Shepard and then Billy Moyer Jr. is best friend of the Speed Week so far. The 21 Jr. Down the back straightaway. Herb and Pierce work that top shelf into turn three. Pierce up top. Right now, Pierce running at eighth. Ninth is Dome. Tenth is Davenport. Eleventh, Hubbard. Twelfth is Ziegler. How about Austin Hubbard has come up through there. He started at 21st. He's up to 11th here early on. And the caution is out. Brian and we got a car slowing at turn two, and it's Brian Shirley. Shirley with trouble on that GR Smith 22 star car. As they were having some trouble on the parade lap, as we mentioned, he went to the pits, came back out, and he will bring us under our first caution here in this one. What a race. You were just talking about the 11 of Austin Hubbard. Keep an eye on Jesse Stovall as well. He's passed about 10 cars as well in that double zero. And you can see the smoke billowing out of the engine compartment yep. of the 22. They have been off to a rough start here this year. They uh, they teamed to target it last year for the first time, G.R. Smith and... Brian Shirley, of course, that was after Jonathan Davenport won the Hibbley Hundred and the World Wondered in that car. Trying to win for the first time. Richards on the outside of Kyle Bronson on the restart as we begin lap seven at East Bay, the Clay by the Bay. In this 30 lap opener to the Winter Nationals for the Lucas Oil Late Monitor Series, Chris. Back to green we go. Devin Moran again back to the race lead. Richards and Bronson side by side. Pearson and Herb side by side as well. Good two by two racing behind your race leader. Devin Moran still. Hot on the gas here up front in nine. Three wide there for a second momentarily. Richards gets the spot. Bronson Pearson back to fourth. Urban fifth. Shepard. And right now Austin Hubbard up into the spot to 11th. Or 10th rather. Austin Hubbard up 12 spots here early on. Keep your eye on Josh Richards. Now he's gone to the outside of Kyle Bronson. Earl Pearson Jr. has come to third. Earl Pearson on the move all of a sudden. He went from fifth to fourth and fourth to third in one lap. Down the back straight away, Pearson now running down the other one car out there, Josh Richards, but Devin Moran continues to lead up front in nine. A trio of one cars there, Richards, in the green and black. Well, now Pearson goes to second. Pearson goes to second. EPJ down the back straight away, trying to win for the first time in the Ronnie Stucky Black Diamond. Here comes Pearson at the turn number four, the veteran driver, the four-time national champion. Unbelievable. Billy Moyer Jr. and Brandon Shepard wheel the wheel. That's for fourth as Moyer Jr. He has come up to the fourth spot. The top three are tightening up. Kyle Bronson slipping backwards here on the 40. It's Moran in nine. It's Earl Pearson Jr. in one. Josh Richards wow. way up on the top wow. side in one. Pearson running the Gainesville line up top. We've got 11 in the books down the back straightaway. It's still Devin Moran, Richards, Pearson, Moyer, Jr., and Shepard, the top five all together. They're side by side behind your leader, Devin Moran. Devin hanging on to the lead, baby, in a turn one. What a race. .030 seconds that time by, and Josh Richards went right on by. Down the back straight away, it'll be Richards, your new leader. Then it'll be Moran. Here comes Brandon Shepard, B. Shep, pounding the cushion up there as well as Richards leads into turn one. <laughs> Now they're into the back straight away. Traffic now right in front of it in turn number three. Here comes Shepard up top. Shepard and Boyer Jr. now. He'll set his sights on the other number one of Earl Pearson Jr. Moran still second in a turn number four down the main straightaway. One shy of the halfway mark. It's Richards out in front. Boy, great racing here on the opening night at East Bay. It's Richards, Moran, Pearson, Shepard, Moyer Jr. There goes Shepard. Brandon Shepard to the outside of the one car of Earl Pearson Jr. Those one cars will do battle. They're going to go three wide with Devin Moran down the front shooting. The caution is out. Wow. Trouble. Tim Dome in turn number two, and the caution is out. Wow. What a race so far. Well, just as they were starting to get in a traffic caution for the – West Virginia veteran Tim Dome, a former winner here at East Bay. Big Hill power plant under the deck, car's first race of the year. 
the track so far, but it's all Josh Richards right now. Took the lead back on lap number 12 from Devin Moran. He'll fire to turn four. Here comes little Pearson Jr. on the outside. Great restart for Pearson, an equally good one for the nine of Moran. Devin will drop right back to the bottom. Moyer Jr. and Jonathan Davenport now side by side. Austin Hubbard's not done yet. She tries to roll through. Slide job wow. for the lead. Heads up. Who will lead? <laughs> They're three no. wide. No way. No way, Chris Stepan. The East Bay at its best right there. Moran will charge back. Moran back down the next right. Here comes Shepard. Moran's going to try to retake the lead. Unbelievable, Moran, they're side by side. They slide up the track. Oh, baby, the three wide on a four, are you kidding me? Second lap in a row, they go three wide, and Brandon Shepard just took the lead. B. Shepard, new race leader, Josh Richards, gonna try to roll back by him. Devin Moran again, not done. See if we can go three laps in a row with big sliders into turns three and four. Down the front straight away, who will lead this time by this time? It'll be Shepard and one. Chris, who's coming on, Chris Stepan. Here comes Jonathan the Davenport up to third. Superman makes an appearance in a turn two down the back straight away. Deep breath, everyone. 12 to go. Here they come out of turn number four. They're side by side. Moran, Shepard, and Devin Moran retakes the lead for the third time. Outstanding racing here at East Bay with 12 Are you to go. serious? They're three Free. wide for second. Heads up. The <laughs> what cars got together. Down the back straight away. Knock, knock, knock. And out the door is Superman. Jonathan Davenport up to second. Can he run down Devin Moran for the lead? Devin Moran. And Davenport, Shepard, Richards putting on a heck of a show. Pearson is fifth. Sixth is Moyer. Seventh is Bloomquist up to seventh. Then it's Tyler Bubbard and Bronson. But all eyes up front. Two by two. Lead them out of the arc, baby. Here they are. It's still Devin Moran. Time to go. Incredible so far. Moran, Davenport, Shepard, Richards, Earl Pearson Jr., the top five. Continuing to be the 49, way up on the top of the racetrack, searching and searching after Moran in nine. 21, officially nine to go, out of two. Here comes J.D. down the back straight away. Moran still leading into turn number three. J.D. floors it. Here comes Superman up top out of turn number four. Down the straightaway. It's still Moran. He can't quite make it stick, but watch this out of two, baby. Outstanding run last time by for the 49. Let's see if he does the same. Down the back straightaway. Devin Moran will lead into turn number three. Jonathan Davenport almost pulls alongside him into four. Down the front straightaway still. Devin Moran with seven to go. Richards back to fifth. Pearson four. Shepard third. Davenport now a slower car now. Austin, or Jeff Matthews off the pace. Now Hubbard, as he's battling right there, Austin Hubbard has moved up to ninth, but all eyes right now as Austin, as Hudson on either took a provisional, he's up to 10th, but all eyes up front. Now JD to the bottom. Now JD to the bottom. That may be the answer for Moran now. On a turn number two, it's a three and four car. Lake lead as they wind him down. Five to go coming up. Five to go at East Bay. Devin Moran trying to win for the first time at his favorite track. Good battle for second. Brandon Shepard has now stolen it from Jonathan Davenport. Davenport, Shepard, Richards, and Pearson still a good battle outside of the top two. Down the back straight away, the nine car. Moran continues to lead. Devin Moran with four to go and heavy lap traffic in front of him. Can Brandon Shepard close <laughs> after him? Here he comes. Shepard is there to turn number one. A pair of blue and white cars. Devin Moran, Brandon Shepard down the back straight away. The future of our sport in dirt lane motor racing. These drivers will be battling together 20, 30 years from now, most likely. Out in turn four down the main straightaway. Here they come, three to go for the win here at East Bay. Who's it going to be? Here comes J.D. He's going to go back to the top. Out in turn two, Shepard takes a peek on the inside. Oh, my goodness sakes. Outstanding. Jonathan Davenport may get by both of them here as they are blocked up on the bottom in lap traffic. White flag will be out next time by. Can J.D. get a big run down the back straightaway? So far, Moran. Shepard, Davenport, Pearson still into turn three. This time by white flag in the air. One oh, to heavy, go. Heavy lap traffic, Chris Moran. Please stay green in the one. Shepard second, Davenport third, final lap. Here comes Shepard. Shepard down to the outside. Shepard swings to the outside into turn number three. This could be it. Moran is trapped behind a car into turn four down the straightaway. Who's it going to be? At the line. Oh, no. I have no idea, but it looks like Shepard won. Shepard on the transponder won the race. Wow. Just as he did Ocala a year ago on the yes. final lap. Unbelievable finish. Like five different leaders. I lost wow. track. Wow.
Unbelievable. 0 0.056 seconds. Unbelievable. Wow. Fans, how about it? Give them a round of applause. Fans at home are probably standing as well. What a race. What? I'm glad it was 30 laps. Wow. Yes. Instead of 25. Yes. yes. Wow. At five minutes after nine o'clock on a Monday night, what a race you just saw. What a finish. And Brandon Shepard for the second year in a row wins the opening night at East Bay. What it, was that again by? 0 0.056 0 seconds. 0.056. Wow. That's shorter than Freddie Carpenter's ponytail. <laughs> yes. Watch this again. Final lap. He had gone two for two this year, but he ran up there in front. He led for a while, and then he faded back to sixth. There's Pearson, Tyler Herb, Shepard, Bobby Pierce. Finishes in 13th here tonight. And there's the caution, the first one of the race for the 22 star of Brian Shirley. Battle back here, Bronson and Pearson. As you see, those drivers started getting it going here as Richards on the outside. Richards right there. The battle takes the lead from Devin Moran. As they come out of turn number two, down the back straight away. There's Pearson at third. Now they go battling again. Look at this. Moran got the lead back. Richards fell back three wide there. Shepard on the bottom. Incredible racing tonight at East Bay. The clay by the bay lives up to his name. Yes. There's the battle to turn three. Shepard. Davenport looked like he had a shot to win it. He finishes in fourth here tonight. As the laps wind down, here it is right here. We're getting around Jeff Matthews. Was Devin Moran looked like he was going to win for the first time here at East Bay? Tristan Moran turning the wrenches tonight. Brother and dad watching back home. There it is. And right there behind Greg Saturday and at the line, there is the win for Shepard. Here he is out of Uber Little Illinois, ladies and gentlemen. How about it for your winner, Bishop Brandon Shepard, for the second year in a row, wins the opening night at East Bay Raceway Park. Dave Argabright, that was one heck of a race. Everybody at Rocket Chassis enough. They, um, <clears throat> you know, they give me this opportunity, and it's a really, it's a, it's a dream come true for me to have this top notch of a ride you know and uh, my dad and my grandpa also I gotta thank them for uh, keeping me on my toes you know uh, all the sponsors on this thing Valvoline, Durham Racing Engines, Seabrook Half Ranches, Gunners Honey, Ace Metal Works, Kaiser Manufacturing, Integra Shocks and Springs, uh, Slavic, everybody on this thing they they mean the world to us and then uh, you know I gotta thank all the crew too Dan, Austin and Joel and Mark and little Brian <clears throat> and uh, this race is for Dan's Dan's grandma. She passed away, and he couldn't be here tonight. So this is for him and his grandma. And uh, you know, like I said, I just gotta thank all the fans for coming out, and all the crew, and all the sponsors on this thing. This Rocket One Racing Machine is, uh, you know, hats off to these XR1 cars and what Mark and Steve Baker have done with these things. It's it's, it's phenomenal, and uh, hopefully we can just uh, keep the streak going. Me or Josh is is fine. <laughs> you know, he's got.